Jessica Allen of Paris, California knew that having a baby was a blessing, which is why she wanted to give someone else the opportunity to become a mother and earn some cash for herself in the process. But she had no idea she would end up regretting her decision after facing an arduous custody battle that would change her entire life. Hello, wonderful people. I'm Scott Leffler for Wonderbot, and here is surrogate mother accidentally gives birth to twins, ends up fighting to keep her own son. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Jessica Allen had it all. Her then boyfriend, Wardell Jasper, worked for a cable company and she had a job as a senior caregiver. Best of all, the couple had expanded their family tree in more ways than they could have imagined when they first got together. Creating life was something Allen considered to be a profound gift, so she decided to become a surrogate mother in the fall of 2015, which was six months after she gave birth to her second son, Jarris. It was a decision she would later come to regret. Some guys might have had an issue with their partners renting their womb out, but Jasper didn't mind one bit. This is your chance to give a family the blessing of a child, he told her, according to the New York Post. But there were other reasons why she wanted to do it. Ellen didn't want to go back to her old job as a senior caregiver. She wanted to stay home and be with her two sons. Plus, the money she would make from the surrogacy would help them to buy a house. She just never expected things to turn into such a nightmare down the line. Allen picked an agency called the Omega Family Global in San Diego, California. It wasn't long before the agency matched her with a Chinese couple called the Lu's. Of course, that wasn't their real name and there was a reason they couldn't learn the couple's real identity. According to People, Omega Family Global's attorney, Matthew J. Faust, sent the New York Post a letter that stated that Allen and the agency are legally obligated to keep details about the pregnancy under wraps. But attorneys only pop up when there's trouble. And that's exactly where Allen and the agency were headed. The Lu's could have chosen a Chinese couple to carry their baby. Unfortunately, surrogacy is illegal in China. So the Lu's decided to hire an American woman to be the surrogate of their future child. So Allen and the agency got to work right away. In 2016, Allen started taking lots of medications to prepare her body for in vitro fertilization. And in April of that same year, she went to an IVF center in Irvine, California and was implanted with the Lu's frozen male embryo. She wondered if it would take, but fortunately, she didn't have to wait long to find out. Allen's blood test revealed that she was pregnant nine days after the embryo was implanted into her uterus. Now all she had to do was adhere to the rules of the contract she signed in order to get her $30,000. But she had an unforeseen slip-up. The contract stated that Allen couldn't have physical relations with her husband until the IVF doctor gave her the all-clear. When he did, he recommended that they use protection. But she didn't follow the rules and that came back to haunt her down the line. During her six-week scan, the doctor told her that there was another baby and that the Lu's were elated to learn that they were having twins. So they decided to give Ellen a raise, which made her very happy, but that moment was only temporary. According to her contract, Ellen was getting $30,000, including expenses, which she got in monthly installments by check. With the news of a second child, that amount increased by $5,000. But when the babies were born, they were literally ripped away from her. After gestating in Ellen's womb for 38 weeks, the twins were born via C-section on December 12, 2016 at Riverside Community Hospital in California. But she never got to see them as they were taken from the operating room right away. So she went home to recover. But a month later, Mrs. Liu contacted her to tell her something was wrong. On January 10, 2017, Allen received a message and a photo of the twins from Mrs. Liu via the Chinese messaging app WeChat. It read, They are not the same, right? Have you thought about why they are different? It was true that while one child looked Chinese, the other one looked Caucasian. Soon enough, it became obvious that the twins weren't identical. So, a week later, the twins got their DNA tested, and then the agency shared the shocking results with Allen. Mike was the Liu's biological child. But the other twin, Max, had Allen's genes. A few days later, Omega told her that the Lu's had discarded Max and that they wanted about eighteen dollars to $22,000 as compensation for Allen's oversight, which was a huge problem. Allen had no idea that she'd been ovulating during the early phase of her pregnancy, so she didn't feel like she'd done anything wrong. Nor did she know that she could even get pregnant while being pregnant, but she did. And now the Lu's wanted financial compensation for the mix-up. 
but her bank account was virtually drained. I was in complete shock. I was panicking. My husband and I were panicking, Alan told people. We had no idea how this came about, and we had no idea how we were going to prepare for a child overnight. We just moved into a new house. We didn't have any more money. But that didn't mean that the couple didn't want their son. Alan and Jasper had already blown most of the money they received from their contract, but that was the least of their worries. They wanted their biological son, Max, back. But the Lou's, who were technically his legal parents, were considering putting him up for adoption. But Alan wasn't about to let that happen. Alan told the agency that she wanted her son, but she felt that Max had become some commodity to be purchased. To make things worse, the agency's caseworker told her that they'd have to pay $7,000 for expenses accrued while they were looking after her child. This disagreement soon turned into a legal battle. Aaron had to spend $3,000 to hire an attorney, and negotiations between them, their lawyer, and Omega was rough. But the agency finally got the fee that Alan and her husband allegedly owed the Lou's reduced to zero. And yet the Lou's still had to be compensated. Omega Family Global wasn't allowed to divulge too much information on the case because of federal patient privacy laws and non-disclosure agreements, but their CEO, Dr. Kyle Kramer, told the New York Post that there was a good chance they would have to compensate the Lou's out of their own pockets. So now the big question is, did Alan get her son back? Eventually, Alan met one of Omega's caseworkers at a Starbucks parking lot in Menifee, California and was given her son back. It was very emotional and she couldn't stop hugging and kissing her baby boy. But she had to do something about his name. Alan and her husband renamed their son Malachi, and he's adjusted to life with his biological parents and his big brothers quite well. He even started learning how to walk, speak, and show off his hilarious personality. But this wasn't the only cause for celebration. Alan and Jasper finally got married and thankfully they had all their children, Jeremiah, Jairus, and Malachi with them to join in in their happy moment. But does she regret ever becoming a surrogate mother? Alan doesn't regret being a surrogate in spite of the way things turned out with the Lou's. She felt that if she hadn't done it, she wouldn't have Malachi in her life now. And although he was unexpected, he was nevertheless welcomed.